Hi there, in this video uh, we're going to look at uh, exact form differential equations and integrating factor. Hi, I'm Graham Lewis and this is a really useful topic for those people heading into first year at university. So I want you to look at this differential equation we have here. This is known as to be an exact form differential equation because it can be written as the derivative of a product. If you look there, if you differentiate x squared sine y, so if we do write down the x squared, differentiate sine y with respect to x, give us cos y multiplied by dy dx plus, and then using the product rule, differentiate the x squared 2x and write down the sine y. So that's what is the format of an exact form differential equation. Now, you can either inspot these purely from inspection, or I will show you a way of doing it using what's called an integrating factor as well. So if you spot it through inspection, then of course you can rewrite the left-hand side of the original differential equation as the derivative of a, of a product, and then just integrate both sides with respect to x. So integrating both sides with respect to x gives us x squared sine y, equals the integral of 1 over x squared dx. I don't really need to worry about my constant of integration on the left-hand side because I can incorporate that constant of integration with the constant of integration on the right-hand side when I integrate 1 over x squared. In other words, uh, when you integrate 1 over x squared, you get minus 1 over x, and that will create a constant of integration, and I'll combine it with the constant of integration from the left-hand side and call that plus a. And then we've solved that particular differential equation uh, in exact form. Now, this is based on the product rule. So if we have y, which equals u times v, where u and v are functions of x, then we know that dy dx is dv by, dv by dx multiplied by u plus du by dx multiplied by v. And that's what you have to spot. You have to be able to look at uh, left-hand side and think, can I rewrite that as dv by dx times u plus du dx times v? So I have a look now at number two here. And I want you to try and imagine that d by dx of a product equals e times e to the power of 2x. So you're trying to think of d by dx of some product equals e to the 2x. I'd encourage you now to pause the video and try this for yourself. So let's see if you managed to get that. It was y squared e to the x, because if you differentiate y squared e to the x, if you differentiate the y squared with respect to x, you get 2y times dy dx, and then write down the e to the x, and then plus if you write down the y squared, differentiate e to the x is just e to the x. So don't worry if you didn't get it. Um, that's fine. Uh, it's trying that matters, and the more times you try, the easier these things will become. Once you've written uh, this exact form differential equation in that format of d by dx of a product, you can just integrate both sides with respect to y. So I went straight ahead and did that on one line, and then you can rearrange it. And then if you're given boundary values, you can sub those in and do the full solution. So just pause that and have a look through that, and that should make sense for you. And then we'll look at example three. Now I want you to have a look at this example here, 2y times dy dx plus y squared equals e to the x. This is not actually written in exact form because you can't at the moment write this left hand side as d by dx of a product. However, if you multiply it through by e to the power x, in other words, just multiply everything on the left hand side by e to the power of x, and everything on the right hand side by e to the power x, you'll notice it's exactly the same as the question we've just done, and now it's in exact form. And that's what an integrating factor is. Here, the integrating factor is e to the x. So an integrating factor, when you multiply both sides by the integrating factor, changes the differential equation into exact form. Now, this integrating factor was relatively easy to think of, especially since we've done number two. But what happens when it's not as easy? So formally, imagine if we have dy by dx plus f times y equals g 
where f and g are functions of an x, and imagine that this left-hand side here is not in exact form. But when multiplied by an integrating factor, which we'll call i, it will be in exact form. So let's multiply the left and right-hand sides by i. So we get i dy dx plus fi times y equals gi. And now let's imagine that that is in exact form. So what we've got here is thinking of the product rule, we, we can call the iv, the dy by dx, du by dx, and the y here, u, and the f times i, dv by dx. So we know that d by dx of uv equals v du dx plus u dv dx. And we know what that looks like in terms of this exact form um, differential equation. So we know i equals v, I'll call that equation cross, I know dy dx equals du dx, I know u equals y, and I know f times i equals dv dx, and I'll call that star. And we really want to find out what this integrating factor is, i. So all we have to do is put the crossed equation, i equals v, into star and solve that. So if we put v into star, so we know i equals v, so I know that f times i equals di by dx. Now, if I integrate both sides, separate the variables first, so bring the i down onto the other side, so I'll just separate the variables, so f equals 1 over i di dx, and then integrate both sides with respect to x, and you get the integral of f dx equals the integral of 1 over i di. Then on the next line, the integral of f equals log i, um, I'm not going to write down the constant of integration because I've got that covered in this integral. And then e i equals e to the integral of f dx. And we've got a way of now a formula to find our integrating factor. So we can just, we know how to prove this formula, so we can just use it every time. So the key thing is, is if dy dx plus fy equals g, where f, g are functions of x, if they're not functions of x, this won't work then the integrating factor i is e to the integral of f dx. Let's redo the first question. We redo question 4 this way. So, we had in question 4 dy by dx plus 3y equals e to the power of minus 3x. Now, we know that f is 3, and so the integrating factor is e to the integral of 3x. And so i is the e to the power 3x, and then if you multiply both sides by e to the power 3x, it will get the answer. And I'm going to pause the video and let you try that. Okay, here's number 5 at the bottom of the page here. x times dy dx plus 3y equals e to the x over x squared. So I want you to consider two things. Firstly, can you think of writing this in an um, exact form differential equation without having to use the integrating factor just by doing it yourself, or do you need to use the integrating factor? So I want you to try and solve this before I go through it. So pause the video again, have a go at this differential equation, and see if you can do it either through inspection, differential, writing it as an exact form, differential equation, or by using the integrating factor. Now, if you look at the left-hand side of number five here, it's not actually written in the correct format for using the integrating factor. So you have to remember to write it in the correct format. The correct format is, of course, dy by dx plus f of y equals g, where f and g are functions of x. So I need to divide everything through by x. That gives me the second line here, dy dx plus 3 over x times y. I've separated that out because that's my f times y. And then g is here, a function of x. So, now we can go ahead with the integrating factor. We know that f is 3 over x. Our integrating factor is e to the power e to the integral of f dx, so e to the 3 over x dx, which is e to the 3 log x, which we can write as e to the log x cubed, just bringing the 3 up there using rules of logarithms, and then using the fact that e and the logarithm are inverse to each other is simply x cubed. So now we have to, and you be careful with this, you have to do the transformed equation, which I've called star here, by x cubed. Not the original one. Don't do the original one there. Um, multiply um, the transformed one by x cubed. So multiplying it by x cubed, 
we get x cubed times dy dx plus 3x squared times y equals e to the power x. And we can see clearly that then d by dx of x cubed times y equals e to the x. And then we can integrate both sides with respect to x. And the answer drops out really nicely. Okay, so that was um, integrating factor, which I really love. It's a really neat technique. It doesn't always work. You have to be able to write it in the correct form, which is dy by dx plus fy equals g, where f and g are functions of x's. Um, now I've got some questions for you to try. So you can take a picture of these 10 questions and pause the video and I'll give you the answers in a moment. And these ones you should be able to do by just thinking about writing them in exact form. So you should not have to use the integrating factor for these, but of course you may if you can't spot it. The next set from 11 to 22 have been designed for you to be able to use the integrating factor. Um, just note that depending on what country you're in, Cossack X, if you're in the UK, is written Cossack X. In, if you're in North America, people usually write it CSC. Okay, and take a picture of that, and now I'll show you the answers. Okay, here are the answers for the first 12, which you can take a photo of, and the remaining ones, 13 to 22. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy integrating factors. Have a great day.